Hi everyone, it's Migzir again with another video tutorial and today we're going to look at how you can modify your player logo as well as your company logo in your in-game profile. It's very simple to do, basically manipulating a few image files and you can have your own avatar, picture of yourself, whatever, a picture of your favorite truck. It's real easy to do, so all you got to do is follow me and follow my instructions and you'll have the avatar that you want to have for your profile. Uh, so without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. Okay, so a couple of things before we get started. Uh, you're going to need an image editor, such as Photoshop. Uh, it's something that can handle a .dds file extension. But if Photoshop is not your speed, you can always try uh, and get paint.net. That is a very easy to use uh, program and it does exactly what you need to for this type of application. So just uh, Google it, paint.net download, you go into getpaint.net, just go in there, and you da download the, the version that you need, okay? That's as simple as it get. The next thing, uh, once you've downloaded it, install it into your, into your machine, so I've just gone ahead and gotten some images already. I'm going to select this one. If you see, uh, I've searched for PNG files. Those are the best because the background backgrounds are really transparent and we don't want a big image size. So this one's 200 by 200. That is perfect for what we want to do. So basically right click on the image and save image as, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to use the same as, uh, description and say save. Uh, there we go. It's loaded. That one's done. So we can close that one. And for the company logo, I've gone ahead and also searched just company logo again, PNG. And the first one that popped up was this one here. I see that the size is 360 by 360 pixels, which is perfect as well. So I'm going to right click on that, save image as, and then desktop and save. And that is done. There we go. That popped up. So we are done with this. I can close this up now. Now that we've got these two images, one is for your player profile and one is for your company profile. What you can do is you can select your own images, uh, whatever you like, a, a selfie of yourself, a picture of yourself, a picture of your truck, whatever you want. As long as it's in JPEG or PNG format and it's within a reasonable small size. So anything up to a thousand by a thousand. The bigger you go, the bigger the file size and it's a lot more uh, scaling down that you've got to do once you're in the editor. And to, to do that, we have to now manipulate one of the files that's in the game. So to, you go into your base folder and you select material and you select UI. That's where we're going to look for the two, right? But to do this, we have to open up the my mods because we're going to copy over those, fol those folders and files. So I'm going to open up my mods. Just move, just move that up there. And you can see here we only have the def folder. We have to create a new folder. So you right click and you set new folder. Or you can just click on the icon on top here and it will pop up there. And there we've got to type in material. That's material and you might as well go in there. The next one we need to create, if I just go back to the beginning there so you can see. So material was the first one. Then we have to get UI. So create a new folder. Call it UI. Remember to keep the lowercase as it must be identical to what your base folder shows as well. Okay, so enter on that and go in again. All right, now that we're in there, we're going to need two folders in here. First one we're going to need is driver, and the second one is player logo. So let's create two folders called driver and player logo. So we go in here, say driver. And the next one, create a new one, say player logo. If you don't want to type out the whole thing, what you can do is click on that, click again, it highlights everything, control C to copy, go back to where it says new folder, click again, highlights, control V to paste. There we go. Now we've got both folders exactly the same as it is in your base folder. First one we're going to go into is driver, open that up and you come in here and you open it up as well. We're going to need this first one. You can select any one you like, but because it's the first one, I'm going to just take that one. So right click and copy here. Do not move it. Say so copy. That one is in there and we can go back and we have to go into player logo, do the same to your base. So go to player logo. Again, I'm just going to take the first one. Right click, copy in there. There we go. Right. Now that we've got both, we can close. We are done with the base folder. We are done with that. Right. So now, now that we've got this open, 
You can see now that that is your first image that appears in your profile selector when you create a new profile. That's the first image that pops up. And if you go to your player logo, that is the first company logo that pops up as well. You will recognize this because you have created profiles before. So what we are going to do, let's start with the driver. Right click on this and open with. If you're not familiar with Photoshop, then paint.net, like I said before, very nice program to use. Open that with paint.net. And there we go. You can see it's a very small size. It's 96 by 96. I'm doing this so you can see that uh, you can have a comparison of what we will be doing. Now that we've done that, the image that we've that we've copied and downloaded downloaded from the net, uh, you can left click and drag it in here. Yeah? Open this image, or you can from your file browser click on it and say open. Okay, this pops open, and now you just select where you've save the two and that will be on my desktop there we go desktop so double click that and that will open over here as you can see and the same will apply to the company logo okay but we only need one so i'm going to close one of them now we have to manipulate this image to make that easier to see you click this little icon here that basically uh fits it to page but because it's such a small size you can use the zoom function to blow it up now if this had a background which I'm going to create quickly. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to click on that layer, and then I'm going to fill that layer with the black paint. So I selected the color. I'm going to take the paint bucket, and I'm going to paint it. Now you can see that there's a background. I'm going to add this to the layer. So the this, this slider merge layer down basically merges the two layers together. All right? You can still do the same thing. Click on the magic wand and select there. But you can see it bleeds into the image so you can adjust the amount of bleed that it has by moving that around if i go to 40 it basically just cuts off over there so you'll have to delete a section at a time so now you just press delete but you can see it leaves that line okay so it, that's why it's important to get an image that's already a png if you can't then you'll have to deal with that and basically use the eraser tool to basically clean that up and to do that, you just zoom it in and you use the eraser tool to clean that up. If your eraser is too small, you can always make it bigger by on the on the drop down, increasing the size. And you can see that the brush is now a bit bigger, but it's a tedious job. So like I said, it's always better to, you know, if you can find a PNG image, it's going to save you a lot of time. OK, so let's just drop this down a bit. And if you've made a mistake or you're not happy with it, you can just go back, erase selection, you can go back here to merge layer down. Uh, let's go to paint bucket. All right, you can see the layers are back. All right, so if you've made a mistake, you can just go back into your history and just remove whatever you, you've done that you're not happy with. And if you want to remove this, you basically as simple as clicking delete layer and boom, that's gone. Now we want to resize because this is 200 by 200. We have to keep the profile 96 by 96. Otherwise, it won't work. It's not, it's not going to fit properly into that allocated space. To do that, you go to Image, and you say Resize. This, this window will pop up. I want you to maintain aspect ratio, provided that the thing is correct. Remember, you have to try and get it to equal heights and, and widths. If you don't have equal height and width, go back to Image and Canvas Size. Now, if your image uh, height and uh, width and height is not the same. You drop that maintain aspect ratio and you make that 100. It will cut it in half. Because half of 200 is 100 and that's basically split the image in half. Okay, so this is a very quick run through on what this program can do. It's very, very easy to use. So just by clicking a few things, you can see what it does. Now that we've done that, we let's just go and resize the whole picture. Let's maintain the aspect ratio and let's drop this to 96 by 96. It automatically changes the height as well. And you say, OK. And there we go. Right. Now that we've done this, we have to we have to save it. So we go to File, Save As. You have to select the Save As type to DDS. Right. Now you have to select the folder you want to save it to. And in this case, it's My Mods. 
add material, UI, and because this is the, the, the driver uh, avatar, you'll use driver and you'll select that one. And you say save. It will ask you to overwrite because it's there already. You say yes. And now it's just going to select, uh, put it into its actual format in the DDS format. And you say, OK, and that's done. Let's highlight this again. You can see your picture has now changed. Let's go back. Let's go into player logo. And let's open this one. So let's just move this one in here. And you say, open this image. There you go. What we're going to do is open the company logo, move it in here, and say, open this image. Now you can see again the difference between the two sizes. And if you're not sure, have a look down here. It gives you the sizes in pixels, height and width. Same thing applies here. This one's 128 by 128. Remember to keep the same profile. All right. Now that we've got that, go in here and adjust your company logo according to that 128. Again, go to image, resize, and just put in 128. And that's done. There's your company logo. Again, file, save as. Select the folder you want to save it to. Go to material, UI, and now it's player logo. And we have to change that to DDS. And there it is, the original one that we've had. Once that pops up, you say yes. Now you just got to flatten it and say OK. And there your job's done. OK, so now you can see that your company logo has appeared, has been modified as well, and your driver logo also. OK, we are done with these two. And we can close this up. We don't need this anymore. You're done with paint. Next, we need to archive this mod into its SCS format. So for that, we're going to go back all the way over here, highlight everything, right click, add to archive. This screen pops up. So three thumb rule, archive format to zip, compression method to store, and change the file extension to SCS. And say OK. Right, once it's done, there's your mod. We can move that onto your desktop, move here. Right, we can close close the mods folder, close that. Now you have to go back into your Eurotruck folder, into your documents, Eurotruck Simulator 2, into your mod folder. And now just right click and move this in here. Say move here. There we go. It's done. We can close this. Now we need to get into the game. Once you're in the game, first thing you have to do is check your profile. Check the profile that you want to use. We're going to use this vanilla one. And you have to ensure that your mod is enabled. So there's my mods and it's active. So that's all done. We can get out. So yes. Now you have to edit your profile. So we go in there and look, first picture. That's DD, uh, zero DDS. It was the first one in the in the file. There you go. There's your picture. You select that one or the one that you've uh, edited will appear there. And then in your company logo, that's what it looks like. It's a bit rough around the edges. It's got to be a PNG format. If it's not, you're going to have to remove the transparencies uh, back, background. And if you don't do it, this, like I said, this was a quick tutorial just to show you how it's done, but you can spend more time to clean that up a bit. Uh, like I said, always better to get a PNG because the background is already transparent and you won't get this wash on the edges, this roughness. And you say apply. And that's it. Now you have to wait for the game to start. All right, now that we're in the game, you can clearly see. Picture has changed, and your company logo has also changed. So, obviously, it's, it's not that difficult. Guys, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Please like and share. Any suggestions, comments, drop them down below, and I'll get to each one and respond accordingly. And if you want other content or uh, anything you, you feel that I haven't covered or need to cover in more detail, uh, give me a shot, uh, drop it in the comments, and we'll see what we can do about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.